Hey, how you doing? As you see, the story you tell yourself and the world matters. Choose your adventure. We all remember those books when we were kids. You read the story and then you choose which way you want to go. So a lot of times, and especially in the education world, they talk about begin with the end in mind. And you might hear that at a training, you might hear that on some trite meme, and it's true to some degree. You want to begin with the end in mind. I want to win an Olympic medal. I want to be a CEO. I want to become president. I want to be the valedictorian. Whatever. Got a call. Sorry, I didn't turn that off. However, I was, again, riding my bike up a hill, and I was thinking maybe we want to choose our beginnings. Now, we don't always get to choose if we're born. We don't always, we don't ever get to choose that we're born. We don't ever get to choose maybe where we're born, to whom we are born, in what situation, what decade, what year, what country, whatever situation we're born into, we are born into that. However, the story we tell ourselves about that, that's the adventure. That's what I'm talking about. Choose your adventure. So we can have two people from the very same place with the very same parents born relatively at the very same time and have very, two very different outcomes. Why is that? Well, that's because everything that happens to them, or as I like to believe, everything that happens for them goes through a filter. And that filter is their brain. And then based on whatever story they're telling themselves about their past, who they are, what they're capable of, what things mean to them, they then move forward based on that premise. We've all seen a movie with a lawyer. We've all watched the OJ trial. We've all seen it go down. And lawyers spend a lot of time creating the story, taking the facts and creating and building the premise from which the jury understands the case, from which the witness has to answer the questions. So once we create that premise, that story, we can move forward in any direction we choose. So many of us tell ourselves a story of victimhood. Many of ourselves tell us, tell Many of ourselves tell a story of failure, of struggle, of strife. And I'm not saying that doesn't have value. I'm just saying that we can tell ourselves a story of triumph. We can tell ourselves a story of thriving. We can tell ourselves a story of, I was chosen. This must be happening or must have happened to me because I can take it and I can endure. So we can choose the story. We can, whatever happens to us, you see, we're not always responsible for what happens to us. Things can happen to us, life happens, but we can change the story. I'm gonna beat this down as much as I can. We can choose the adventure. We can choose the story we tell ourselves. And from there, create the premise for ongoing success for championship life. There you have it. Got a little manic today on Facebook. Um, I always get inspired when I'm riding my bike and watching my, my son play soccer uh, in the field. Must be the green and the blue. So there's an extra message. Get outside and enjoy life. Um, but change the story. Change that story you're telling yourself. Anyways, um, as you know, I do love you guys. And contact me on Facebook here or on my website, drjasonrichardson.com, and um, Championship Life, not only Championship Life, but my buddy Greg Romero asked me, what is Championship Life? What is Championship Life? As you know, business, life, sport, I am here to help you succeed, and Championship Life is becoming a very specific training, a very specific immersive experience with me and people like me, because I like to bring in co-stars. So you come to San Diego for a couple days. You basically live with me for a couple days. We open it all up, your business life and sport, and we get at those core beliefs, dig them out, and then you leave here 
with a plan to move forward. I'm also available to do those immersive trainings on site so you can bring me into your fine city, neighborhood, whatever it is, and we can get at it. So with that said, be great, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.